Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to hop on, I'm teaching yoga today, but I have some time. I mean, double check. Yes, I have some time. I don't have to leave until 15 minutes, but I wanted to talk about if you're dating potential and how to tell if he's a loser. So my channel is about um, women. It's This is advice for women who are in their 30s, maybe even like um, late 20s, and you're interested in having, um, sorry, my eyelashes are a little crazy. You're interested in having a normal family and having children, okay? And you want children. So if that's not you and you're just having fun or you have a different um, perception of what you want for your future uh, or for your love life, um, you can probably click off right now because I'm pro what I'm going to say is going to offend the A out of you, okay? I mean the S out of you. So ladies, stop dating and falling into the trap of what the man says and quote unquote potential. Okay. I've like dated people like this and they're just like a waste of time. And what I mean by this is like, okay, when you date someone, they haven't made it right. You guys are in your thirties, but he's talking a big game about oh, you know, I'm going to be a doctor or I'm going to be this like entrepreneur or blah, 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 blah. Okay. If he's in his thirties and he hasn't done it yet, you're dating a loser. Okay. You're dating a loser. Um, and say he's like living with roommates. Okay. And he's like, oh, you know, a couple years from now, I'm going to buy a building or whatever. You're dating a loser. Okay. So if you're in this game and you're in your 30s or late 30s, you need to drop the guy as soon as possible because you want to get pregnant. You want to have children. You want to have a family, okay? And if you choose to do it the normal route, which is like you do it, you get pregnant, and you deliver your own baby, you don't have time to waste with the like a guy who has not made it yet or talking about all this other stuff that he's going to do because what is going to serve your kids and you emotionally and energetically is to have someone who's stable in their career and knows who they are and knows what they're good at. If they're still in this like rocky stage, they're not a good vessel or, a, or in the mind space to be a father, to be a good husband. So do not date the guy who has not made it yet, especially if you are looking for marriage and kids, because how are you going to pay for the uh, wedding? What are you going to do when you're, you need help with the baby? The guy needs to take paternity leave, but if he doesn't have any paternity leave and he doesn't have a job, how are you going to make ends meet? And you're postnatal, you're trying to recover and, you know, find some like stability and peace while you're in your mommy stage nursing the baby right? You don't want to be nursing the baby, taking care of the baby and worrying about your living situation or if there's going to be food on the table. So trust me when I say this, do not date potential. Don't date a guy who has not made it yet. Okay. And this is like so evident in college, right? So in college, I remember like all these like handsome looking dudes saying that, um, they're going to be a doctor. They're going to be a pharmacist and stuff like that. But when when it like shook out and then it was time to get a job, some of them didn't even finish college. Okay. Some of them didn't even finish college. They ended up doing, I don't even know what they ended up doing, but they didn't finish college. And could you imagine if you or me or a girl was dating some guy thinking that, oh yeah, like he's going to make it soon. I believe in him. He ended up not doing it. And then you're stuck with this guy who like didn't finish college, didn't have a career and you're pregnant. That's awful, right? And your your kids are going to be so mad at you. <laughs> They're going to be like, what was mama thinking? Like, why did she like date someone where like we're homeless or something? That's like the extreme case, but you, you get what I'm saying. And I've also like... Ugh. I don't even, I like, I like block this out. I don't even want to think about it um, because it's just so like, I'm just like so mad at myself while I was being so like tunnel vision with this person. There's a guy who I dated and he supposedly was in law school, but come to find out the guy like 
wasn't in law school or was still applying to be in law school. And I here I was like having my career all straight, doing my thing. And I thought that we were going to have, you know, a marriage, but he didn't know who he was. He was just scamming himself. Like it, it was just so ridiculous. He, he like, I think he, I don't even think he had a job. Like, I don't even know what he was doing. He wasn't in law school, but yeah. So you don't want to, you don't want to be in a situation like that. Um, so, and and you want to make sure that what they're saying is true, especially in this online dating world. It's so easy to just lie on your profile and like you meet them and then, you know, you don't have any common friends to like validate what they're saying. So just be careful, do your research. Don't be afraid to be like tech, like stalker on these people. Like I'm by stalker, I mean like look them up, see if they really have a job and this, and I want to repeat myself, this advice is going to women who want marriage and kids. So don't date potential and don't fall into their like, oh, I'm going to make it. And, you know, I have all these X and Y plans. Talk is cheap. Talking is free. Um, It's very salesy of them, right? It, It seems like what pops in my head is like Wolf of Wall Street, where they're just talking a bunch of S word. And the reality is the company is just a piece of S word. Right. So like, make sure you don't fall prey to that. um, And that they're not a con artist. So if you have any questions, maybe you're dating some guy and you're like, I don't know, like, and maybe you didn't have healthy examples in your life to compare the guy to, or maybe the only comparison you have is like TV shows or something like that. But let me know if you want me to listen to your story or your fact pattern about the guys that you're dating, um, feel free to like message me or just even write it in the comments and I'll make a video about that. Or you can book me for a consultation um, and we can, you know, hash it out because this is like probably the most important decision you'll ever make in your life. And I'm a mom, right? And I've learned so much stuff. So the stuff that I tell you is definitely the stuff that I hope my daughter will listen to. And these are the, this is the advice that I would give her. And I hope that she will watch these videos um, and learn from them and learn from my mistakes. Some of, some of my mistakes are like really embarrassing. But anyways, so, you know, let me know if this helped you. Let me know if you have any questions and I will catch you guys later. Bye.